But first, we are just getting new pictures of the Chinese spy balloon shot down off the coast of South Carolina. CBS News has learned the Navy has recovered a significant portion of the antenna from the bottom of the ocean. But tonight, there are new questions after the U.S. military shot down those three objects over the last three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, over Alaska, Canada, and one of the Great Lakes. Well, today, the Defense Secretary said the Pentagon has not recovered any of the debris from those objects. CBS's Nancy Cordes joins us now from the White House. Good evening, Nancy. Well, there were a lot of good questions today at that briefing, but not a lot of good answers. <laughs> That's right, Nora. U.S. officials couldn't say today whether these objects belong to China or to some other government or even to a company or an individual. They say President Biden made the decision to have them all shot down because they could not rule out the possibility that they were being used for spying. A mystery in the skies causing confusion on the ground. What in the world is going on? The latest objects appeared about a week after the Chinese spy balloon was taken out off the South Carolina coast. On Friday, an object roughly the size of a small car was shot down over sea ice in remote northern Alaska. On Saturday, it was a cylindrical object hovering over Canada's Yukon Territory. And on Sunday, an octagonal object over Michigan's Lake Huron. How big was it? We're still trying to assess uh, what, what that was. That won't be easy until debris from this weekend's objects can be recovered. We are searching what is uh, a fairly large area. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Obviously, Trudeau. There is some sort of pattern in there. The fact that we are seeing this uh, in a significant degree over the past week. Unlike the Chinese spy balloon, U.S. officials say these objects did not appear to be sending any communication signals or possess any maneuvering or propulsion capabilities. Likely hypothesis is that they were being moved by the prevailing winds. But at 20 to 40,000 feet, they did pose a potential risk to civil aviation, according to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. And I want to reassure Americans that these objects do not present a military threat to anyone on the ground. The Chinese government claimed today that the U.S. had flown more than 10 high-altitude balloons into their airspace since last year. U.S. officials quickly denied it. Despite heavy seas, the Navy has now recovered a 30 to 40 foot chunk of the Chinese balloon's antenna array from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. As for the other mystery objects, U.S. officials have ruled out one possibility. There is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Uh, and it was important for us to say that from here because we've been hearing a lot about it. After the spy balloon incident about a week ago, the nation's radar system was adjusted to make it more sensitive. And officials say that's a big part of the reason that they're now detecting more objects. But what lawmakers want to know is what the criteria is that President Biden is going to use for deciding when to shoot objects down now that the U.S. is detecting so many more of them, Nora. Nancy Cordes at the White House, thank you very much.